Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with our weekend advice reading for the weekend of March 30th, the 31st, and April 1st, 2018. So we're going to have a look at what the energies are for us during this time and what we need to know about the energies so that we may be able to use them for our highest good, okay? So just keep an open mind for the messages that come through, as always. Okay, here are our cards. We have the Humpback Whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. The Camel. Trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. From the Tarot, we have Organization, which is the fourth major arcana, um, which is the Emperor. Your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. This is also um, the energy of authority and father figures. In the center of our spread, we have a win-win solution, number 14, Major Arcana, which is the Temperance card. There is strength in diversity. By blending the, idea, uh, the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Okay, so it's about finding win-win solutions this weekend. Compromise, meeting each other in the middle. And the healer of emotion, which is the queen of cups. This is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You or another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. Okay, and then we have world energy. The earth is going through a transition of energy and your sensitive body is feeling it. You're not alone except the help of others. So again, we have the energy of help and others in our lives. And world energy on a more day-to-day -day level talks about our personal world changing as well as anything happening in our, in our environment that we might be sensitive to. And we have family harmony. Your loved ones form a strong pillar of support. Embrace their love and put past issues behind you. So we have a theme coming up here of finding solutions and finding ways to get along and just respect each other, especially when it comes to family or the others in our lives that we are close to. Um, this reading, the messages that are coming together, we have the energy of healing, healing past challenges, healing past arguments, fights, situations where we haven't spoken to each other in a long time, with those around us, with those who are, are or were important to us at one point or another. There may be issues with the father or issues with father figures or figures of authority within the family that can now be resolved. We can find that enough time has passed, the tempers have, have had, had time to um, tone down, and now we can listen to one another, okay? This is around listening, what we hear, how we communicate, okay? And now we have, we're in the right energy us and the other person or the other party, whatever the situation may be. We're in the right energy. We're in the right space 
to be able to hear each other clearly, to understand each other clearly, and therefore truly find a win-win solution, because we are open to finding a win-win solution. Whereas in the past, it may have been more about, no, I want what I want, and then you want what you want, and it's complete opposite, so therefore we're not speaking anymore. Now it's more of, well, I know what I want, I'm trying to understand what you want, and then they're doing the same, and so we do come meet each other in the middle, okay? So this could be a weekend to repair relationships with people who we care about, okay? With the healer of emotion here, people we care about. Now that could be parents, siblings, relatives of any kind, friends, okay, friendship relationships. It can also be romantic relationships, especially if there have been power struggles within that relationship. Now we're coming to a point where either the both of us or whoever had the control issues, they're, they're, they're coming to a point where they can listen now. They're able to do that. They weren't able to do that before. They are now. And so there's an opportunity for healing and for reconciliation um, during this time. And of course, with um, Mercury being retrograde, um, it's almost natural that we see such energies transpire, okay, because it's a time to reassess, it is a time to rethink, it is a time to try again, it is a time to heal, to resurrect, okay, to reconcile. Um, this could also talk about, of course, we have a very strong focus on family, family relationships or relations with relationships with people who feel like family, very, very important. Um, now, that could be because, you know, there's a big family gathering, and so we get to see someone we haven't spoken to in a while or someone we used to not get along with or whatever the case may be, and so now we're able to kind of see each other in a different light. And once we listen to each other, we realize, okay, you know, things are better. We can get along now. Or someone's asking for forgiveness or we are asking for forgiveness. We're making an effort to repair a relationship, okay? But this could also talk about romantic relationships coming back together, especially if there are children involved, because that is the glue that keeps the family together, okay, the way that it's coming up. I may want certain things, and you may want certain things, but we both want what's best for the children, that sort of conversation. And so making that effort to meet each other in the middle, to, to listen to one another, to be patient and understanding with one another, that can lead to um, new beginnings within relationships as well. This could also um, speak of success within um, your work sector or your financial sector, or our financial sector, because it's it's general energies here, it's overall energy, so it's going to affect all of us, including myself. I have a tendency to just relay the messages that are coming to, to me, and so obviously they're speaking to me <laughs> um, um, the way I'm speaking to you, but I'm just in, I'm including myself, okay, in the messages and, and receiving the messages, even though it may sound like I'm telling you um, what you are up to. It's, it's a big we, okay? I just want to make that clear. Um, so, in terms of work, in terms of business, there may be opportunities um, to try again when it comes to a personal business, to try again when it comes to um, teaming up with a friend, a family member, just a, a former business partner, um, things may come back around, okay, new opportunities to work together again. There may be negotiations happening during this time. Um, but the message is that as long as we take a diplomatic approach and we give the other person the impression that we are trying to compromise that we want 
for the both of us to get what we want out of the situation, things will go a lot smoother. Things will go a lot easier, okay? Um, that's what's coming up here. This is also talking about something coming full circle and starting over. Um, it can also talk about where we hear from something or someone regarding something that if it almost feels like where we've applied for something and we haven't heard anything for a while and we hear now, okay? And there's been delays, there's been miscommunications, some things have been overlooked, okay? Hence the big delay, but it's finally reaching us. News is finally reaching us. The energy also talks of, because see how we have the authority figure on the one hand, and we have the emotional energy, the peaceful, the compromising, the easygoing energy on the other hand. And then in the middle, we have a win-win solution. So there may be um, tension or kind of stress around something that we really want to do and what we're told to do, which may differ. Or where we're trying to work on a dream and then we get all these rules and restrictions that we have to follow. And so the message here is, if you want to move forward with this, trust that you have the resources to do so, trust that you are able to do so, but it is through compromise, you know, allowing your creativity to be gently guided by logic is the way they put it is how you find your way forward, okay, successfully and quickly without too much hassle, without too much of a challenge. The help and support of other people um, may be significant for us during this time. But again, it's about communicating honestly, asking for what we need, okay? Allowing someone to meet us in the middle, allowing someone to help us okay is um also what the cards are talking about here because there may be a, um with the emperor here there may be a tendency for us to be able to do everything ourselves and so we may struggle to ask for help we may struggle to say look i'm struggling and the message here is by working with others through our connections, working with others, giving people the opportunity to to help, to support, to guide us, to give us their input. That's how we truly move forward. And we overcome challenges that we may be dealing with during this time or challenges that we have been dealing with for a while. But the energy is all about compromise, looking for a win-win solution in everything that we do. And a focus, there's a focus on our connections, on our personal connections, our social connections, um, how we communicate with others, how we work well with others that is coming up. We have the energy of healing, reconciliation, resurrection coming up. Okay, and the cards. So that is our reading for the weekend. Okay, I don't know. It could be for those of you who celebrate Easter at this time. It could just be the energy of, of, of that holiday where it is a time to forgive and forget. It is a time to resurrect relationships, you know, to, to release, to forgive, to release. It is a time for the family to get together, and so maybe some old issues get to be reassessed and perhaps healed and released, okay? For others, maybe we just have time to spend with family during this time, and again, things pop up for us to discuss and resolve. Or we are just dealing with situations and people from our past where we have the opportunity to heal relationships, to heal partnerships, to forgive, to release, to start over. 
with the energy of the weekend. Okay? So that is our reading. I hope that it helps. Oh, I almost forgot to do the power of thought card again. Well, that was quick. The point of power is always in the present moment. So this is saying don't hold on to the past or especially don't hold on to um, fights, arguments, hurtful things that were said or done in the past. OK, uh, you have the opportunity to put the past behind you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am in charge. I now take my own power back. I am safe and I am free. So it's about bringing it to the present moment. What happened in the past doesn't matter because it's changed. We have changed. The other person has changed. The situation has changed. There's no point in harboring on to a negative feeling or negative thoughts or things that were said because they have they don't they don't fit a purpose anymore they don't fit in our lives anymore they're no longer true okay and so we have the opportunity this weekend to put the past behind us to start fresh to start over to free ourselves from a burden to free ourselves from something that was causing negativity in our lives something that was bringing heavy energy and holding us stuck in a, in, a, in a sad place or just weighing us down. Okay, so that's really beautiful that it just ties in with the rest of the messages that have come through so far, okay? But I really hope the messages help if you're dealing with these energies now or if you have been dealing with the energies or if you will be dealing with the energies, I hope that this is useful insight, okay? Um, let me know what this talks about for you. It will be different things for everyone. So I'm looking forward to your comments there. Let's have an absolutely beautiful weekend and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye for now.